I'm going to be making a small hive beetle trap. Now I noticed the last time I went into my hives there was a few small hive beetles, so I'm going to make a trap. We'll see how well this does. I saw a couple YouTube videos on how to make this, and basically we're going to use a CD case as a trap. So, let's do it. So this is a slim style CD case, and it was originally yellow, and I was told that Rather than having it be light colored, it should be dark, so I went ahead and spray painted it black a couple of days ago. So I made sure that it's completely dry and completely off gas before I put this into my hive. So what I'm going to do is make an entrance, in this case, for the small hive beetle, by knocking out this little piece right here, and right here. And then also right here. So that gives them three points of entry into the case. Now, so using a slim case is important because we don't want the bees to have access. So this is less than 3 eighths of an inch and the bees cannot crawl into there. So I'm going to open this up. And there's about an inch right here is already open. So what we're going to do is knock out the plastic right there. See that? So take the pliers and gently kind of chip it out of there. Now this plastic is very brittle, so you want to be gentle here. You don't want to take away too much plastic. So just give a little bit of a twist. Alright, so that side's done. There's a little entrance right there. You can do the same for the other side, right here. Close it, there's a little access. I'm going to knock out a little bit more here. So now that part's opened up. Take a little bit more off on this side. Perfect. Now on this side, it's actually on this top part, so I'm going to knock out that section. way for them to get in on that side. Okay. So now we're going to make the bait. Now I've got a jar here. I'm going to be using this glass as my mixing vessel and there's about a teaspoon of honey in there. And now so to this glass I'm going to add about a teaspoon of honey. This is honey that came out of the hive that I'll be treating. Yummy. Yum, yum. And then I'm using some boric acid. I just found this at my pharmacy. I found this at Rite Aid. And we're going to use about a teaspoon of that into here. Then we're going to use some shortening, some Crisco, about two tablespoons of that. And then just mix this really well. And that's going to be our bait. Now to set our trap, we're going to open up the case. Now we're going to just smear a little bit of this bait on the inside of the trap. I've heard a little X pattern and not to put too much. So just that much. Close it up. Then we're going to slide this into the hive and we're going to put this on the bottom board and make sure the beetles have access to the holes and I'm going to put it in the bottom board in the very back of the hive. Beetles, small hive beetles like dark areas. We're going to slide this into the bottom of the hive on the bottom board in the back 
and they'll crawl into there, eat the bait, and then just die inside of here. That's what I've read at least. All right.